<laughs> I'm not really sure what the concept is at this point. I'm just thinking of like ideas and words. Zebra vacuum tornado. After pulling keyboards apart, I'm never gonna look at them the same way again. <laughs> TV has now replaced established religions in a way. So I'm making an altarpiece essentially for my TV to sit on and then adding Day of the Dead type things. Symbols like skulls, hearts, crosses, flowers, gold, gaudiness. I definitely think it's important to pay homage to traditions. Everybody else is smashing their objects, putting them together into something new. But I'm trying to preserve what they are and create a new environment for them. I was thinking of something of like this housewife that was like bored. That's a neat idea though. Thank you. I think I'm one of the few artists in the room who's taking really what most people would term like a conceptual approach. Like I work with a lot of different ideas, but I keep on reducing these ideas until it becomes something simplified, but still retains its complexity. So there's got like three TVs watching another TV. That's awesome. Trong's pretty well known in conceptual art circles. I'm not sure what he's working on. It could be pretty amazing. No, I like that, dude. Listen, it's awesome. If something works, you just hit the jackpot. I totally felt like Dr. Frankenstein. Like I had saved like the littlest television. It's so cute. Can I have it? <laughs> I kind of like the MacGyver of art. You know, if you give me a pile of junk, I'm going to turn it into something. The piece that I'm making is a sculpture of a post-apocalyptic future corpse. I think I'm seeing somebody's broken leg. Maybe I'm doing a good job then if you already caught that. I got in a motorcycle accident in 1996. All my brain damage was on the left side of my brain. I was always a real creative kid, but once I had the damage to the left side of my brain, I started obsessing about making art. But I uh, lost my train of thought. That's part of the accident. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I thought there were just check how are you doing. So maybe we'll start with Tom. Hey, Simone. How are you doing? How are you? So tell me, what are you doing here? Sort of like a family watching TV, as if it's three TVs kind of watching another giant another, TV. Another TV. So, um, right. And then maybe cut out phrases or conversation that these three TV slash persons may be having while watching this program. Okay, you used to work uh, with sculpture, no? You, um, uh, yeah, so but not any, in any traditional form. I'm not one of those persons who can just walk down the street and collect things and put it together. So this yes. is slightly new for me. Like, I'm, I'm usually a, more, a little more predetermined what I want to collect. But so you're fine. outside of your comfort zone? Slightly, but, yes. you know, enjoying it nonetheless. Okay, well, go for it, and uh, I look forward to collecting okay. more. Great, thanks. Great. Thank Bye. you, Tom. <laughs> Hi, Nicola. Hi. Oh my god, there's a major operation going on. Yes, it is. Uh, it's, I'm making a tomb. A tomb? Yes. It's and a, what are you burying? The objects that I found, the oldest being at the bottom, mm -hmm. and then the newer objects will be on top. It's really a reflection about time, and there's something quite raw about what yeah. you've done so far. And it's important to make it visually appealing at the same time. The more I'm getting it a little bit dirty, like yes. around, I'm like, I kind of kind of like that. So far, I see that as the appeal of the work. Great. Well, thank you. I value Simone's opinion because he has seen more art than a lot of people on this earth. So that kind of approval means a lot. That's a lot of cable. I like the idea of like the old stuff becoming beautiful. There is great beauty, I must say, just in the cables, just looking at yeah, them. Yeah, I just untangled it all from yes. a big mess. Yes. She was I mean, the only one who didn't choose television sets or big, chunky items. Yeah. And by just choosing the cable, it's like uh, choosing lines of a drawing. Yeah, it is. <laughs> well, you have plenty to do tonight and tomorrow. Yeah, thank, you. thank you. Hi, MD. I want to make like these little kids controlled by this technology. So they're going to have TVs as heads and they're going to be playing video games that are connected to one another. That's quite a major undertaking. Uh, You're not concerned about time? I mean, not, uh, not yet. <laughs> it's an ambitious project. I'm definitely a serious overachiever. I mean, I don't know if I have time to finish it, but I'll feel better if I just go for it. It's still early, obviously, to see what yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, it's still, I need, to, I, I need to get going. OK, good. Cool, <laughs> thanks, thanks a lot. Thank you. Artists, you have a lot of work ahead of you. I can't wait to see how you're doing. See you later. Bye. Goodbye. Thank Bye. you. Careful the wind, dude. Yeah, yeah. 
I need to start building the form of a figure out of spray foam just to take up a lot of the interior space. So windy, huh? It's not about the wind, it's about the, the consistency of it. Stupidly, I bought the cheaper brand. The stuff I usually use, like, clouds up and it's really sturdy. Somehow, I'm gonna figure out how to still make the sculpture a viable piece of art. Ah. Oh. is spreading toxic chemicals everywhere and people are starting to, you know, get headaches and feel a little sick. This is not gonna work. Miles, do you have a cover for that bin? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> to fully get at how I was feeling when I walked into the appliance graveyard, I'm making the hardest place to sleep possible. I start making the bed. I screen printed an electrical map on the top of my fiberglass mattress. And then I made two concrete ass just for the sake of having an icon of like tension there. <laughs> I'm just placing a small weight in the center so the form goes like that. It's been cool to peek over and watch the people's process and what they're doing, but I don't understand Miles. That's just weird. <laughs> <laughs> the most cursed ass ever. Yeah, I'm gonna do the spray foam was just a waste of time. So I think I'm gonna have to focus all my attention on making one figure. Even though we had all of tomorrow, I know that I have to perform a miracle to finish my piece. Another day, another mess. On your Coming up on Work of Art. I am angry. Like, have them trying to escape, you know? Cool. Judith is kind of a nut. I'm starting to feel a little hopeless. So, what do you guys have left to do today? I have a lot to do. Down, down to the wire for you? Today, but with sculpture, there's so many variables. Is something going to be balanced? Are the materials going to be structurally sound? Even though we've been given more time for this challenge, I'm going to eat up all of this time. Yeah, look at this. The challenge is to make an interesting sculpture using found objects. I'm moving at a decent pace and trying to not make any fatal mistakes. It's a challenge to make junk not look like junk. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking about just taking the back of this and um, mounting that on top of this. I'm hearing And it'll be the most beautiful, conceptual, minimalist piece, and they'll love it. You look like a mad scientist I over just... here. Completely took apart everything. I really? Kind of let the cords like start to just be themselves. Judith is kind of a nut, but I love her. She's not afraid to explore. But I'm not sure about her piece. Okay, so this is what I want to do. It's like just like throw them in and like have them trying to escape, you know? The old cords kind of took on a life of their own. Actually, I went back to a childhood experience for myself of playing with little miniature things and enjoying that. Pretty confident. I thought very fast. I got all the materials I wanted. And my concept was strong. And looking around the room, I just feel like mine visually might jump ahead. sculpture and paper instead of spray foam to get the basic forms before I start sculpting it in plaster. 
My piece is extremely connected to me personally. It's almost a self-portrait. I grew up, so much of my identity, so much of the way I carry myself is a creation of the stuff I used to watch. Yeah, I watched a lot of TV, you know? I played a lot of video games. I'm only realizing now how much of that made me who I am today, for better and for worse. Trong, what are you gonna call yours? I'm gonna write a white text that says WWTFD. What would Trong do? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> this is here, maybe here, painting here. I'm concerned about Jamie's piece. She's so literal, but it seems sort of dead. It's coming around the long run. Yeah, it's coming along. It looks good, I dude. I like it. 